Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Divas Rumble. This is uh, the Rumble that I have created. This is a created superstar uh, Divas Rumble. I didn't create any of the Divas. I downloaded them off of Community Creations. All of them are available on Xbox One Community Creations. So if you don't find them on the PlayStation, it's probably because they're not on the PlayStation. Um... I'm very interested in seeing how this plays out. We've never had a Divas Rumble. It has never really been allowed on these games. I don't know why, but um, now now they have changed it where you can actually do a Divas Rumble. So I'm pretty excited to see how this is going to play out. Um, also, I'm kind of skeptical on how a couple of these are going to look. So I haven't tested them out. I have no idea. We've, we've had some uh, rebellious community creations before like Steve from Minecraft who didn't want to wear his clothes so um, don't be surprised if a face scan didn't work or something like that I'm just warning you guys ahead of time so um, and I'm glad I talked over Jojo and uh oh who are we going to start off with is the question and uh oh who could it be and, oh my goodness, this is the one I was, I was, uh, oh my goodness, Medea's here. Yes, it worked good. This was one of the main ones I was very concerned about. And I'm actually glad it was number one. Medea is number one here. And look here, oh my goodness. This is great. This actually worked out better uh, than I thought it would. Uh, the face scan looks like it worked out for at least the entrance part. So it probably worked out for the rain as well. And we have Medea in the house. And I probably didn't turn off the music. So I'm probably going to get a copyright claim. At this point, I don't care. Okay? I, I just do not care anymore. Um, it's ridiculous. You know, we promote these games through our our vision. And our, our we shouldn't get copyright claims for it. I mean, and look at Medea. Oh, man. She's got the moves. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is how you kick it off. And, uh, yeah, there's, you can tell where it's face scanned, but it's still funny. It still worked out good, so uh, don't hate on it. I didn't make it, by the way. I didn't make any. I'm seeing gun. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, you, and he wants to marry Medea, too. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's funny. So we're about to see who Medea is going to take on here. And, uh, it's this girl, Paige Van Zant. She is from the UFC. I actually looked her up. I researched on all these. There's a couple I don't know. A couple of the anime girls I don't know. Um, one of them we've had on, I think last year we had them on. And I didn't know. There's some really good ones. This one's really good. Uh, a page here. So we're about to see her. And I'm, I'm glad we're doing a Divas Rumble. I'm just, I'm so excited to see how this turns out. Um, and we got Paige now. So let's see how it plays out here. Oh, man. <laughs> Of course, Ronda Rousey's part of the roster now, so I can't use her if you're wondering where she is. She's technically not a community, I mean, a created superstar. Even though, Pete, I guess you could create her. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, did the face skin show up? I can't tell. It looks weird now. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's still on there. It's just... It's still a good Medea and stuff, but... <laughs> and here comes Rey from Star Wars. So Rey is here. Um, from Star Wars. Um, she was on last year's game. She's getting really popular, of course. She's a big female on, on Star Wars and stuff. Yeah, Medea's face scan works. Oh my goodness. That is funny. That is so funny. And they're going to start coming out soon like crazy. And we got Elektra. We also got a lot of Divas from Marvel and DC. 
It is a usual thing that happens on these types of matches. And guys, just to let you know, the game's been out almost two weeks now. No, actually, if you think about its actual release date, it's been out um, less than a week. If you're watching this on Monday. Um, it's been out less than a week, so if you count Deluxe, it's been a week and a half, probably. And here comes Medea going after Ray, and it did not work out for her. We'll see who else is going to be in this. I can never say her name, and I'm not going to even attempt it. I just know she's from D.C. That's all I know. And she can't wear her top hat in the rain, I don't think. Anymore, at least. I thought you could. Oh, and there goes Electra. So Electra's uh, been eliminated. I'm not the biggest fan of Electra. I, I definitely like the... Um, what am I going for? I like the uh, I like the Daredevil on Netflix way better as Electra. That girl uh, better than Jennifer Gardner is. Even though Jennifer Gardner, by the way, guys, is from my actual state. Uh, she is from my state, but I don't like a lot of movies she's in. I just, you know, it's nothing against her. She's a good actress. I mean, she's just, none of her movies are wow me and stuff. Only thing I can think of, I can think of the rich, the Daredevil with Ben Affleck, and I can think of uh, she was in a movie called Thirteen Going on Thirty, something like that. And uh, I'm trying to think what else. Peppermint that, that recently came out, and she was on the show Elias. But I, I don't know a lot of the movies she's in. But uh, anyway, we got Taylor Swift. We got Wonder Woman. Of course, Wonder Woman's got this. Uh, I noticed this haircut, but that's fine. It still looks good for a Wonder Woman. And will Medea be eliminated here? Yes, Paige got her. Medea was the one I was concerned if the face scan would work or not. And here comes Pocahontas. Uh, we got some Disney princesses here as well. Not that I'm saying that I love all that stuff. I'm just saying we have. I mean, Pocahontas was big last year and stuff. And as time goes along, guys, this is only like less than a week of creations here on the Divas. So we're going to have a lot more. We're going to, some of them might be better to come. But I'm just, I'm, I'm doing whatever I can work with right now, guys. Um, but it, it kills me because when we get the good creations, I mean, even the better creations, not to say that these are these are really good, some of them. Um, here comes Cammy, and Paige is done. Um, when we get the really good creations by then, we're almost to 2K20. That's when we'll get all the really good ones, because there's some really good ones last few months that uh, show up on there always. Uh, it's like... Um, I mean, but by then, it doesn't even matter for the most part. And we got Cammy from Street Fighter. I got Pocahontas, Taylor Swift, that one chick with the top hat. I'm not going to even pronounce her name. And we got another Disney princess for you guys. And that is Jasmine. Jasmine is here. I think this is the first time she's ever been on. Oh, man, Cammy knocks them both. Welcome to the show, Jasmine. You just got kicked in the head. <laughs> There's no magic carpet to save you. Um, I think this is the first time we've ever had Jasmine on. Ever. I know that's not her... I don't know if that's her haircut or not. I thought she had a different haircut. But um, it's still pretty good. I'm sure she's had her hair long, too. Or, like, you know, pinned up or whatever. There goes Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman has been eliminated by Jasmine. And there goes Cammy. Taylor Swift got her. So I love doing this. I, I think it's going to be great this year. We're going to have a lot of creations this year. And Ariana Grande will be next. It sounds like a coffee. Can I get some Ariana Grande up in here? And uh, here she comes. No, I, I have mixed feelings about her. I really do. 
There's some things I do not like about her, and then there's some things I love about her. I think she's one of the greatest female singers right now. Uh, no doubt about that. I just don't like how she acts sometimes. And uh -oh. here comes uh, Jasmine going right after her. I think it's uh, too early, though. I just don't like that whole... I don't know. It's hard to explain. And here comes Buffy. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is here. This is actually a lot better than last year's. I had one last year. And the face did not look like Buffy at all. Um, but this year I got a good one. So. We also got another... Uh, and I've never seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I wonder if it's really good. Because I would love to watch that. Um, there's nothing I like more than a strong female lead in a movie or a, a show or anything. And I, I, it's not, I'm not on like some crazy uh, psycho fem feminist agenda here. I just like strong women. Um, like, like for an example, um, like Buffy would be a, a, a strong one. Girl with the Dragon Tattoo comes to mind. Uh, some of these girls from Game of Thrones, like Daenerys, Cersei, I like strong female leads. Well, they're n they don't always have to be leads or, or sides, side characters. Um, and there goes Buffy and Melina. My woman Melina's here. Just don't take your bandana off, please. No one wants to see that mouth. Ugh. Oh man, she she just blew blood out of her mouth. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some of the other... There's a movie called Your Next. that has got a good female lead in it. They don't always have to be gorgeous, but it, it, it it's a plus. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. And Hit Girl is here. Another strong female side. Your movies and stuff. Hit Girl is really cool. I like that movie a lot. I, I remember we watched the second one and um, in college, and it was so funny because our college would like you go to the uh, our college would get like a movie specialized just for them, and they would have the name of the school. There, there'd be a scene in the movie, just some random part where the name of the school would show up, and, and sometimes you know you didn't think much of it. It was during, like, um, like I think we watched Straight out of Compton. And it appeared, like, in one scene with some just guy driving a car or whatever. Big deal. But in that movie, someone died, and then our school's name appeared on it. And it was so funny. Like, as they were dying, the, the school's name <laughs> actually appeared. It, it was pretty hilarious. Pretty, pretty sick, but at the same time, it... it it was really dark humor, and it worked good. Everyone in the building was laughing, and almost to the point where they were crying. Like, basically, it's this really gory scene with, I think, a lawnmower or something that hits a car, or some blade that hits a car, and number two, um, and uh, and as it's like uh, killing whoever it's killing, um, our school's name goes it just pops up on the screen and it was just it, it's probably one of the most hysterical moments one of my one of the times i laughed the hardest in my life that was really funny and hit girl gets another elimination here oh this has turned out pretty good so far no corrupted divas uh that's good to see we're at number 16 right now and saya they actually made that hair like you know like saya's hair so I mean, it was... You knew she was going to get put on this game. And there's a couple people that are coming up that still haven't came out yet. I have no clue who they are. So, you guys can tell me about them or whatever. But Sia's here. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Sia, Sia, I don't care, okay? You guys always tell me I pronounce stuff wrong. I don't care, okay? I'm going to call her the Chandelier Girl. She sings a song called Chandelier that I like her. Harley Quinn's number 17. She's one here every year. And Lady Gaga's here, too. I just noticed that. Melina takes her out. Lady Gaga's amazing. 
I need to see that new movie she's in. And Pocahontas is done. And uh oh, there goes Hit Girl. Who got her? Who's that? Oh, Ariana. Sia or Saya? I don't know. I don't care at this point. I'm trying to get my vacation still. I mean, I can't get it. Like, it's unreal. It just won't show up. It, it's got to show up for them to, like, type, type it in. And it's still not there. Like, it's crazy. I should... I was supposed to... Technically, my year at work was October 3rd last year. That, I mean, that that would make it a year. And then I got away for like a pay period. I think that's so crazy. Oh, and here comes... Oh, my crush is a kid. Oh, my God. And this is actually really good. Hopefully, it turns out really good on the face. Yes, it did. Oh, my goodness. Hit me, baby, one more time. And um, Britney Spears is here. Man, when I was a kid, I had the biggest crush on her. I like Harley Quinn, too. And, you know, even when... And I remember some of you guys... I haven't forgotten when she went bald. When all that stuff happened to her, you were all hating. And I remember it. And I, I was like, I, to myself, I thought, well, she's making dumb decisions, but I still don't hate Brittany. And boy, did she come back. I remember when she came back and stuff, and she had some really good songs when she came back. I don't, you know, I don't mind, I don't mind pop music. The only music I can't stand is country. I like Johnny Cash, that's it. Because Johnny Cash is, Johnny Cash is more than country. Okay? He, he's on a whole nother level. He's dark. And I like that about him. Ever listen to the song Hurt? That's a great song. Android 18's here. This is our first female rumble ever. Because, you know, they haven't had it on the games and stuff. And Cardi B is number 20. And I don't know about that one. I didn't think Car I thought Cardi B was a lot taller and thicker than that one. So it looks like her in the face a little bit if you if you look at it. There was actually two options and I went with this Cardi B, but I didn't know the size, so um still okay. And Snooky. Yes, that's right. Debuted on the channel. See, if you look at her face, it kind of looks like her. And, oh my goodness. Come on, Android. Don't mess up Britney's face. And Snooky's here from Jersey Shore. That was, that was very popular when I was in high school. That show was extremely popular. And let's get this Cardi B out because it's a little bit off. Yeah, see you later, Cardi. And got that Bodak Yellow in the, in, on this channel. What is Bodak Yellow? I, I'm sure it means something. I, I, It's been a while since I've listened to it. It's a good song, though. I like it. A Ariel. And no, she doesn't have the mermaid stuff. I know. Don't even ask where her fishtail is. I always thought all those women from... Uh, Jersey Shore, they're gorgeous. I always thought that. Jay Wow is my favorite. If I if I had to pick one of the women from Jersey, Snooky's up there too. I like Snooky. Um, Jay Wow is definitely my favorite. My least favorite would have to be. I think her name's Sammy. I don't recall the one that dated Ronnie. I I got so sick. I got so sick of hearing her crying. Oh, Ronnie's not treating me right. <laughs> I got so sick of their relationship on that show. I, I just did. I really got sick. I got I didn't, um, you know, I, I'm trying to think of all the characters. And Gamora got another elimination there. Um, I'm trying to think of all of them. 
Uh, there was Mike the Situation. There was Vinny who was like never into drama, which I respected Vinny for that. And Paulie D. Um, then there was Snooky, Jay Wow, Sammy, Ronnie. Um, Ronnie and Sammy were my least favorite. Uh, still till this day, Jay Wow and Paulie D. Uh, Paulie D were my favorites. I don't know. I kind of wanted Mike to win that fight against Ronnie because that fight was brutal. I remember watching that on MTV. Oh, man. I wanted Mike to win. I don't think he won, though. I think Ronnie got the best of him. I don't recall. I don't recall. It's been a while. That's been a, a long time. I mean, we're talking... I probably came out when I was a sophomore or junior in high school or something. And then they had that show Buck Wild, which was uh, based in West Virginia as well. Oh, man. There goes two divas. Ariel and a reversal by Supergirl on Gamora. And here comes Mrs. Incredible. And there's like three. And there, it's most likely a diva's going to win that I don't even know. Because there's three divas that I am not familiar with at all. I've had one on the game before um, that are going to be in here. And there goes, oh, this is incredible. Or, or is it Elastic Girl? That's her, that's her name before, like, Mrs. Incredible, I think. And, uh-oh, can they get rid of Supergirl? Yes! Good double teams. Here's one of them. I'm unfamiliar with Birdie. She's a female singer, though. She's semi-popular. I don't I don't know why they make some of these people. I guess someone really is a fan. That's all I gotta think of. Birdie. I've never even heard of her until I downloaded her. So there's, there's two left like that. Oh, look at Snooky. Nice reversal there. And uh -oh, Snooky's in trouble. Oh, man. And, yeah, that's one of them. I, I am not familiar with her. It says, when you type in Birdie on Google, it says Singer. And that chick was on last year's. But she's from an anime, I believe. There went somebody. She's an English singer, songwriter, and musician. Won the music competition Open Mic UK in 2008 at the age of 12. Okay, so so she's not. She's more a UK fan. So some of you guys from the UK might know. And Laura Croft's number 28 here. Laura Croft's a babe, a babe too. He is a babe. I, you know what? And I know some people like Angelina Jolie and stuff, but I like the new girl better. I've always thought that girl was uh, a babe. Um, I forget what her name is. It's like Alicia Vikander or something, something like that. I can't pronounce her last name, but she's a babe. I mean, she is, she is a ten, like literally. And uh, I haven't seen the new Tomb Raider. I, I, I didn't hear great things about it. Here's another character, anime, I wasn't familiar with. So two anime characters I'm not really familiar with here. Uh, just to keep in mind, I don't know who number 30 is going to be. So someone that I don't know might win this. Or I'm not fami familiar with. Let's see. I'm going to see who... Uh, ooh! Yeah, her debut on the channel. And I wonder how they're going to pull this off. Let me look at it. Mystique. Um, when she comes in the rain, I'm wondering what she's... Because I know her bra is like the same color as her... Okay. It works. It works. I like it. I'm pulling for Mystique all day. Number 30 this time. He is one of my favorites. 
Absolutely. Always rooting for Mystique. Mystique's my favorite X-Men. Her and the Juggernaut. Um, let's get this anime chick out of here. I'm, so I'm pulling for Lara Croft or Mystique. I want Mystique to win because she's my favorite. I'm glad she's on this year. I'm glad somebody made her. She's a, she's kind of hard to make because you know the you gotta make like the bra and panties the the same color like. And you can still oh come on, stupid Mrs. Incredible. It, by the way, Incredibles two was not as good as one. I just want to say that while I'm here. So now I got to pull for Laura Croft. It's probably going to be the girl I don't even know with. That's what probably is going to happen. Last girl. Eliminated my mistake. Get rid of her, Laura. Get rid of her. Thank you. Uh oh. Watch out. Oh, man. <laughs> took, uh, took her leg out from under her. Oh my goodness. Come on, Lara. You got this. Nobody can beat Lara Croft. Th this girl better not come in and win this. I don't even know who she is. I couldn't even tell you the show she's from. I just looked her up, made sure she was a, a character so we could use her to fit that 30. Look at her go. Oh my goodness. I don't know what show she's from. Come on, Laura. Get her on the ropes. You got it. Yes! Yes! Laura Croft! <laughs> yeah! Oh. Yeah, that kid was like my hero. <laughs> and as much as I wanted Mystique to win, I'll take Laura any day of the week. Definitely. I didn't know who the other girl was. You guys can tell me. Educate me. You guys know everything. I don't know nothing. Laura Croft won this one. And boy, was this an amazing rumble. Oh my goodness. I'm so proud of you, Laura. I'm so proud of you, but let me just educate you. You're not going to WrestleMania. Sorry. You know, I wanted you to win, but that doesn't mean you get a pass to WrestleMania. Sorry. Oh, you know what? You can go to WrestleMania if you can find it. How about that? Since you like to go explore all the time. If you find WrestleMania, I'll let you go. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the Rumble. Uh, this really turned out fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, and we'll do more Divas Rumbles. We're going to do a Mel Rumble soon. Uh, we're going to we're gonna stray away from the big heads. Because a lot of people have been saying it kind of takes away from what they're trying to watch and stuff. So We're going to give it a rest. Um, for a little while, uh, we're gonna stick to the, our no normal rumbles and stuff. Um, actually, a few people said that, not just one or two, a few people. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the rumble. This is the first Divas rumble ever. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and su subscribe if you're new. I'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I need to hit 10k. It is my milestone goal. It's taken. It, it's it's basically taken forever. And I need to get there ASAP. Rocky. Okay. But anyway. I was going to... Oh, ASAP Fern, too. Uh, ASAP Mob. Okay. Forget the ASAP jokes. But anyway, thank you guys for coming in and watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later.